Come on, Jeremiah. Come on. You got this. Come on. Get it. Nice. Whew. New world oh, record. Boy. New max. All High right. five, buddy. <laughs> what, what's wrong? Your, your shoulder stuck? Stuck. Ah, let's do a low five. Low five? Yeah, all right. <sighs> Hi, I'm fitness expert Jeremiah Kruger. And I'm Dr. Ben Quist. And we're here today to help you assess whether you have a stuck shoulder and show you what to do about it if you do. So you notice a lot of your clients having trouble raising their arms fully above their head? And now that you mention it, quite a few. I've even seen it on some of my most muscular fit clients really have trouble fully extending their arms over the top of their head. Why is that? I'm glad you asked, Jeremiah. Oh no. So nine times out of 10, when someone can't reach their arms over the top of their head, it's a tight latissimus dorsi muscle or lat. That muscle group is a really big muscle that goes down the back side of your body, connects into the top of the hip, and then on the back side of the upper arm bone or the humerus. The reason that we should care about that is a lot of the movements that we do in the gym, like an overhead press or a clean and press, or even like in your garage at home, lifting a heavy box and putting it on your shelf, really require you to be able to extend fully. Uh, and if you can't- And time. The, well, I, I thought we agreed on 10 minutes. I even gave you a few extra seconds. I didn't want to make you cry, but we, we got to cut it there. Well, Jeremiah, the, the reason people listen to our YouTube channel is because we really go into all the physiology and kinesiology of the movement patterns. I think people really enjoy that. I'm not sure about that. All right, whatever. Okay, one quick test to see whether you have a stuck shoulder. Yeah, this can be done with a dowel rod, a PVC pipe, or a mobility stick. What you're going to do is seated position against the wall, keeping your back in a nice spine neutral, so not letting it pull too far away from the wall and you don't have to crush it back into the wall. You're gonna raise your arms up in an underhand position, bringing them up, seeing if you can easily touch your hands to the wall in roughly a shoulder width hand grip spacing and with straight elbows. If Jeremiah was not able to touch the wall, because sometimes I'll see people get up to about here and it's like boing, boing, they can't come any further, that would indicate that you have tight lats causing your stuck shoulder. Okay, class, who's ready to learn the four moves to unstick your shoulder? What class is he talking about? All right, now, before we get started, I want everyone who thinks that Jeremiah is funnier than me to raise their hand nice and high. Anybody? Anybody? All right, great. So we're all in agreement that I'm funnier than Jeremiah. Okay, that was kind of funny. Okay, our first lat stretch is just gonna be a simple one. Easy one to do at the gym or home. What you're gonna do is stagger your stance, take the arm or lat that you're stretching, bring that arm up over the top of your head, bend at your elbow, bring that hand behind your back or shoulder blade, opposite hand comes up on that elbow, and you're gonna pull that elbow into the arm or towards your head. And if you wanna add a little bit of additional stretch, you can just side bend that body away from the arm that you're stretching. I either hold this for roughly 30 seconds or sometimes I'll do three second holds and kind of pulse into it for about 10 reps. You then repeat that on the opposite side. So exercise number two is a lat pullover. This is a really good mobility exercise because it is both shoulder stabilization but also flexibility lengthening the lat. I'm gonna set it up so that my shoulder blades are placed on the box or bench. I'm gonna hold the dumbbell like I might for a French press tricep overhead extension. Really our focus is the thoracic spine and then our shoulder blades. I'm gonna lower the weight down towards the floor as far as I can without any sort of pain. The biggest motion you can maintain while being fully in control of the motion is the best motion to do. So number three is going to be a band assist lat stretch. Typically you're gonna want a light to medium level band. The heavier flat band that you use, the harder the stretch is gonna be. I'm gonna start with a light one. Attach your band about head height, band needs to be behind your body. Then place your hands inside of the band about four inches apart. Walk forward with a staggered stance, keeping good strong core control so you're not leaning back through your core, keeping a spine neutral position. Then from there, you're gonna press your hands straight up towards the ceiling, extending through those arms, getting a nice intense lat stretch, and then bringing it down. Three second holds to the top, pulsing up for about 10 reps. As you're starting to loosen up with this move, you can just move your body forward to make the stretch a lot more intense. Oh, this is a good one. Exercise number four is a dead hang, which is basically just the bottom of a pull-up. Obviously, grip strength is a limiting factor, but I'll give you an alternative to that. So I'm gonna jump up onto the bar. I'm gonna let my shoulders pull up towards my hands, and I'm gonna let my body sink towards the floor. 
If this feels like it's not a good enough stretch, I might even try it single arm and kind of let my body rock towards one side. But the alternative, if that is too challenging, is using a TRX strap. I'm gonna get my feet under my shoulders and pull my butt back behind me, keeping that spine neutral position. For both stretches, I would suggest holding for at least 30 seconds. You could also do it the way Ben does, where you do a three second pause, stand back up, and then go back down, repeat that 10 times. All right, everybody. So in summary, make sure to check and see if you have a stuck shoulder first by doing that simple test that Jeremy and I showed you. If you do have a stuck shoulder, do some of those moves in your routine that we showed you as well to get that shoulder unstuck. Something to think about is that tightness now could be injury later, so don't wait to address this. Guys, thanks for watching. We really appreciate it. You're awesome. All right, everybody, great class. Drop down in your deep squat. Can I get two claps on two? One, two.